Hello students, welcome to our second week of class. By now you all should be very familiar with how the Blackboard course is set up uh, and how we're going to run things this semester. Uh, so again, the same format that you saw in the week one course folder is the same uh, format that you're going to see each week as we move along. So starting off with sort of building our knowledge base last week, we started with some really basic information about what a cell is, uh, what cells do and how they replicate. All that information was necessary because in order to talk about the next step, uh, which is what actually controls our, our traits and those things that we pass on from one generation to the next, we needed to understand um, some basic information about how cells work. So now in this week's module, we'll actually be covering the basics of uh, DNA. Okay, so just as a preview here, uh, your genes, so the information that tells your body what your traits are, uh, are actually sequences of letters in DNA. Okay, so you're going to learn, okay, so what is DNA? So you're going to learn about DNA this week. Uh, you're going to learn how DNA makes copies of itself. Okay, so kind of like we started with what is a cell, how does a cell make a copy of itself? We're going to talk about how DNA does that as well. We'll also talk about what's referred to generally as the genetic code, which simply means how does a cell know how to interpret the letters of DNA? How, how do we know what that means? So there's a, a very specific way that our cells know how to take letters, a string of letters, and turn it into actual physical products. So we're going to learn about the genetic code. And we're going to learn then about the process of what's called protein synthesis. So we're going to make things using the instructions that are encoded in our DNA. So we're going to cover all of that uh, in this particular uh, week's module. And again, it's a lot of information uh, to be sure. Uh, but again, the class moves quickly. And so we need this background information first before we can start building on um, other principles related to heredity. So uh, for lectures this week, again, I have the readings, which once again, that's through the CK12 uh, human, College Human Biology uh, online book. Uh, I have the videos for uh, these topics. In this case, I've only got two. I've got a, a DNA video and a protein synthesis video. Um, the genetic code is here in the protein synthesis video, so that's encapsulated in this topic. Uh, and then the guided notes that go with each of those. Just as a reminder, as far as the assignments go, these adaptive practice modules, and I did have a question about this on the Socrative survey, and I, I tried to respond to that quickly in, uh, in my Sunday email so that you all sort of see that you're not being graded on these adaptive practice modules as far as how long it took you to get 10 in a row right. It doesn't really matter to me. What matters to me is that you complete the exercises. So I simply get a report that tells me if you finish the exercise and, and that's all it shows me. Um, and so don't, don't worry about, you know, if it took you a while to get those 10 questions or if you were able to do it right away, that's, that's fantastic. Um, I'm not grading you on how many you got right and how many you got wrong. I'm simply grading you on the fact that you completed the assignment, right? Uh, so again, feel free to sort of use you know, take your time with those, make sure you're understanding things, make sure you refer back to the material if you have questions or there's something that you don't understand, okay? And again, the idea behind these is, is kind of twofold. Number one, so that you're reading that course material as we're going along because that's really going to be the basis of your information and, and how I'm building my lectures on that, right? But then also, too, is just quick comprehension checks to make sure that you understand the material before you try to move on and build on that, right? That's the idea. The number of practice modules will vary each week. Last week we had four, which I know is a lot. Uh, this week we have three. Um, some weeks we'll only have two, so it, it just kind of depends on what topic we're covering. So because we covered a, a lot of different topics in the first week, we had four practice modules. This week we'll have three. Um, you can always see how many there are when you go to, I'm sorry, let me find, here we are. Uh, you can always see how many there are by looking at the, at the due dates on these. These correspond with the due dates, the Sundays where I have my assignments due. So last week we had four, uh, this week ha we have three, for example. The following week we'll just have two. So it, it does vary a bit depending on what topics we're covering, right? Uh, discussion question. So uh, this is always confusing. <laughs> Every time the class gets set up, I always have this, um, this it's not really an issue, but this confusion. Um, the intro board is not a graded discussion board. 
So the intro board is just a way for you to get to know your classmates to see who's in your class with you this summer. I'm not grading that. What I'm grading is I'm actually grading the weekly discussion threads. So when you click on the discussion board, you click on weekly discussion threads and it says week one. Okay, week two is down here. It's just the way they organize things. But in any case, here's week one. This is what I'm grading. Okay, so this is what you earn credit for. Um, you earn credit for your initial response, which needs to be posted by Thursday every week. And then you're also graded on replying to two other students. That completes your grade. So you get 10 points for your initial response to my question. Up to 10 points, I should say. It depends on how you answer it. Up to 10 points for your initial response. And then five points for each reply to another student. And there needs to at least be two of those, right? Okay, so uh, again, this is always a bit of a confusion. Someone will say, oh, I, I replied to the intro post. I thought that's all, all we had this week. Um, so knowing that, what I'm pretty flexible with doing is I will offer a little bit of leeway in week one. So if you didn't respond to the week one discussion post this week, you have until Wednesday to get both your response and your replies to other students in and I'll still give you full credit for that, okay? But I'm only giving you till Wednesday, that's my deadline. Uh, and then also make sure that, again, you're continuing to respond to the discussion questions on a weekly basis. All right, so back to where we were. Last but not least is the Socrative survey under assignments here. Um, the survey, again, opens every Wednesday. I generally wait until Wednesday. Um, I want you to review all of the material and the content and do the assignments and that Final Socratic survey is kind of like the last thing that you do, right? Just to say, yep, I got it, I covered everything, and here's any questions I have. Um, really not a whole lot of questions last week, which is great. That tells me that, you know, you're, you're making your way through the course, you know where things are to be found, you understand how things are laid out, which, which is wonderful. That's great. Uh, and the only question I saw was about how those adaptive practice modules were, were graded. So, uh, and again, I try to reply to those as they come in the Wednesday, um, Weekly check-in is one that if I have questions from last week, I'll, I'll usually reply to those there. And then the Sunday summary is also when I can sort of reply to some of those so that you guys can get some immediate feedback. Um, if I do have a lot of questions, things that I didn't necessarily get a chance to cover in either one of those emails, there is a discussion board specifically for an answer to Socratic questions. But I'll only typically use this if there were a lot of questions and I couldn't address all of them in an email. And in the email, I'll just say, Lots of questions this week. Please refer to the discussion board for answers to those, right? Okay, just so that you're all aware that that information will be posted. Uh, this week, let's see, for additional resources, uh, I have a, a couple of different things. I have a protein synthesis practice worksheet, which this worksheet um, is really good practice to get you ready for the first exam. Hint, hint, hint. Uh, you may or may not see something like this on the exam. Same thing with the DNA model. You may or may not see something like that on the exam. So might be worth checking out both of these resources. Uh, might be very beneficial in getting ready for our first exam. Uh, but again, the goal here is always to provide you with a little bit more information and a little bit more practice in case you need it. Um, speaking of the first exam, and I know this is weird, right? It's week two. Why is she talking about the exam? Because it's going to come up really fast. Uh, week four is, is when we're going to do our first exam. So that means we have one more week of content before the exam um, is available. Next week, so one week prior to the exam, I will provide you with a study guide uh, and a little bit more information about how we're going to do exams. I use OtterLock, uh, which is built into Blackboard. So it's just a an extension that you download on your Google Chrome uh, browser works with Chromebooks, it works with laptops and computers, it does not work with a tablet or a phone or anything like that. So you will need access to either a Chromebook or a laptop or a computer. If you don't have access to that, please email me right away. Um, the college does have a technology loan program. I believe it still is running this summer and I can point you in the direction of that resource if you need it. Uh, but this is not something you can access with a, with a tablet or a phone, so just be aware of that. But I'll put more information out next week. So there'll be a folder in the week three module that'll say study materials and exam info, and you can get some more information there. So that'll be there next week, which gives you a whole week to uh, prepare for that exam. 
All right, so I think uh, I think that does it for for this week. Uh, once again, if y'all have questions, send me an email and let me know. Um, once again, um, those adaptive practice modules are only available if you sign up for CK12. I think most everyone has done that, but not quite everyone has. So please make sure that you do that so you can access uh, these activities. Again, these, these are being graded. You're graded on these. And so if, if you're not signed up, you're not going to be able to earn the points for those because I won't know that you've done them. So uh, please make sure that you get a chance to do that if you haven't right away. Uh, anything else, please let me know. I'm available to answer questions and I'm happy to help. Bye, everybody.